right, we're ready when you are. Welcome to Prince George County Public Schools Game of the Week. I'm Tavell Ralston, your host and your play-by-play -play announcer with my main man, Joel Deering, a.k.a. Coach D. How you doing today, Joel? I'm doing all right, sir. We're Always back. We're back. We're getting ready for the kickoff to today's event between Sherrottsville and the home team, the Hornets Nest. That's right, the Hornets Nest, Fairmount High School. We're getting ready for the kickoff. Let's get ready to rumble right here in the Hornets Nest here at Fairmount High School. We'd like to welcome everybody here for the second game of the Game of the Week from Prince George County Public Schools High School Game of the Week. Here we go. Short kick. kick. Very short. Oh, up the middle. Nice run back. All the way to the, about the 42-yard line. Up. Fairmont Heights couldn't have asked for anything better to start the game tonight. Definitely couldn't start it any better, Coach D. Looks like they're about on the 42-yard line. Once again, we'd like to welcome you to Prince George County Public Schools Game of the Week. I'm Tavell Ralston as we get ready to get started or have gotten started with Fairmont High School and Sherrottsville High School. Fairmont's on the 41-yard line. Nice run back to head. Coach D, what do you think of both of these schools, I think, are 0-2 or 0-1, I think. Yeah. Well, one thing about it is it's a rivalry. You know, you got two teams both called the Hornets. You also have two teams that haven't won, as you said. Mm -hmm. Whoever jumps out first will have an advantage. Very good. All right, we got to play. Pass right out to the flat, number four. Pretty good pickup. Right, pretty good pickup. He takes it to about the 31 yard line. First down. Picked up a first down right off top. Nice run back and then a nice throw out to the flat and a pickup of 10. All right, they line it up. Fairmont once again. Got a tailback and a fullback. Option play. Run. Oh, he's taking it. Quarterback. Very that was good. A good hustle out there. Pretty good. I thought that was a pretty good run. Number 11, Dominic Rucker. No, that was Jermaine Mitchell. Jermaine Mitchell? Jeremiah Mitchell. Jeremiah. Okay, Jeremiah Mitchell. Thank you for that correction there, Coach D. Give to a kind of up the middle, but to the right side, and he goes all the way to the four-yard line. Khalil Kirby on the curve. Yeah, Khalil Kirby. First down, Fairmont. It's a beautiful day for football on a nice Friday. Right before we get ready, the fall season kicks off. Fairmont High at the four-yard line, tailback and fullback. Fumble. Oh, fumble on the snap. He picks it up. Takes it to about the one-yard line. Looks like it may be holding. He did a Once again, we're here at Fairmont High School for the game of the week between Fairmont and Shirotsville. There's a, there's a moment of pause on the play here. So there was a penalty. They've moved Fairmont back to the 16-yard line. 
All right. Quarterback Mitchell is under the center. Poet passes it out to the flat. Got him going all the way, I think. He's out, knocked out about two yard knocked line. Knocked out of play. bounds at the one yard knocked line. Knocked out about the two yard line. Third and goal. Well, look, Fairmont looks like they're moving the ball, Coach D, pretty good. Other than that one penalty right now, they've moved the ball quite straight up the field here. You're absolutely right. He's got three yards to get in. He certainly would want to get six here instead of having to go and settle for a field goal. Second down. Quarterback snap. Hand off up the middle. Touchdown. The number four, Amir Amar Braxton. Amari Braxton takes it in from two yards out. We'd like to welcome everybody to Prince George County Public Schools Game of the Week. we also like to let you know. Okay. This is the Hornets Bowl. Both of these teams are Hornets. So you can bet this is going to be a real buzz. One of the things you need to understand about this game is that the former head coach of Fairmont Heights is now the chief assistant with Saratsville. Okay. He's coming back here. And he's okay. It's like, what do they call it, timeout? Looks like. Okay, that gives us a chance to fill Time out Fairmont tie. We'll continue. We'll be right back after this short break. Hey. Students and visitors are about to see Prince George's County Public Schools' new weapons detection system. Called OpenGate, the system is designed to automatically screen people with backpacks and bags for threat detection. It will also identify other contraband items that are not allowed on school property. Open gate screening is fast and automatic. It requires no removal of backpacks, bags, or purses, and it's designed for easy walkthrough flow. When you arrive on campus, you should have your laptop out and be ready to hand it to a staff member before walking through. You can retrieve your belongings on the other side and continue to your destination. However, if the light at the top of the pillar turns red, a staff member will pull you aside to a designated search area and perform a search of your person and backpack or any other bags you may have. All right, we're back. Fairmont has moved the ball swiftly. They're getting ready to kick for an extra point. Uh, something's offside. Flag on the play. Flag on the play. They're going to re... Move the ball back five yards. We'll try it again. All right. As we get to, they're getting ready to try it again for this extra point. They're going to go for two this time. They're going to try to. Get two instead of one. Quarterback's in the shotgun. Takes, his, takes the snap. And he made and it. And he made it. He got in. He got in. Touchdown, Fairmont. That was a good start for them. That was a pretty good exactly start. What I they thought needed. so, too. Uh, exactly what they needed to get started, to get on the board first. So that was good. Looks like Saratsville is going to have a long day if, unless they can do something to stop that running game. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. All right, once again, we're here, and we like to let you know that, hey, this is the Hornets Bowl. Go. And Fairmont went right down Coach D real quickly and scored, puts eight points on the board, and now they're ready to kick off to Shiratsville. Yeah. 
Here's the kickoff. Get ready, Fairmont. Pretty good kick. I think it's going to be a return. Picks it up at the 21, coming around, downfield to the right. Nice cut up field. Oh, they tried to strip the ball, but they got him. He stopped at about the 31-yard line. You know how he tried to strip the ball from him. That's yes. good, good defense there. Even better offense for holding on to the ball. Sherrodsville is setting up their offense. Quarterback number 10, Deshaun Sumter. They're getting ready. They got a tailback and a fullback. Quarterback's under center. Here's the snap. Giving it to the tailback. He's hitting the backfield. He looked like he talked. Took a loss of one yard. That's a loss for about two yards. A loss of about two yards. Number eight. All right, as we keep it moving right here on a Friday, a beautiful Friday for football, game of the week here at Prince George County Public Schools, Sherrodsville and Fairmont. Sherrodsville with the ball. Quarterback up down the center, passes it. Oh, Fairmont, defense, Coach D. They were in the backfield before he even got the ball almost. That's that, a loss. That's the way they're going to have to play the whole afternoon. They expect to continue to punish them like they're doing right now. Fairmont tight, number 99. Loss of four. Gerardsville lines up again. Quarterback Xavier Bunn. David throws it. Intercepted by Fairmont. Right. Looks like he's go. trying to go. Oh, he fumbled. Fumbled out of bounds, I think, though. I think he fumbled out of bounds. Number 12, Anthony Proctor. We're on the 20-yard line. Fairmont interception, run back to the 20. Coach D, looks like uh, Fairmont might be up by a couple scores if they score this time. And that's exactly what they, you can't ask for no more than right. that. That's a great Chirot start, and that's what they would want to do. Yeah, Shirazville better definitely try to hold them. No more than a field goal, at least. Out of the shotgun. Oh, lost that. The snap. Oh, he made a cut. Oh, wow. Flag on the play. It's probably he, illegal back. He took that ball all the way to the four yard line. Yeah, but it looks like it's probably going to come back. Number 11, Jeremiah Mitchell. Hudson. Hopefully you're having a good Friday, just like us, enjoying some great football. If hopefully you're watching on our Prince George County Public Schools YouTube channel. Sherrodsville and Fairmont High School, the game of the week. I'm Tavell Ralston, your play-by-play, -play, and I'm here with Coach D, our analyst for today's game. Ralston, I'm telling you, man, this is... Uh you couldn't ask for any better way to start if you were Fairmont Heights. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Oh, 
everything except that last penalty. That last penalty. All right, he hands the ball off to a tailback. Tailback number four, Amar Braxton. We'd also like to let parents and guardians know you can now view bus routes impacted by the bus driver shortage by visiting your school's school website. Fairmont Tights getting information from sideline, one of the coaches. On the 31 yard line at the moment. Second down in about a mile. He. All right, they're lining up. He's lining up under center. Throws it out to the flat. Number 24, he loses the ball. He's still loose. Still loose. Looks like Sarasville may have recovered that uh, one. Let's see. Fairmont recovered it. They did recover it. Number 24, Ramel Johnson. Fumbled and recovered. Coach D, it looks like even though it's not wet, it's a clear, it's a dry day, but they hard to, they're trying to, hard to hold on to the ball for some reason. Well, what <laughs> I hear about both teams, that's been a tendency and a reason why they're on two right now. Okay, very good. All right, he throws it out to the flat to number 12. He takes off down the sideline. Oh, he goes all the way. Anthony Proctor. That was a beautiful pass. Takes a 20 to nothing lead already. Fourteen, Fairmont 14, Sirachville zero. See if they can make the extra point this time. Hope so. The kick, that is. If not, they can probably make the two like they did before. So, so. The see. holder is Jamal Jackson. Puts it down. It's. No good. No good. No good. Right. He missed the extra point. That's, All right. That's kind of like your golf swing. Fair amount. <laughs> All right, Coach D. You got. All right, we'll be right back after this short break. Weapon or a contraband is found. Law enforcement will be notified. Here's a reminder. All students and all visitors to campus during regular school hours will be required to enter through the open gate system and are subject to search. Your safety while in school is our top priority. We thank you for your patience and understanding as we implement this new security system. Are you looking for a stable career in education and support service? All right, the kickoff, Sirachville takes it, running up the side. Oh, takes him down at the 28-yard line. Sirachville will start on the 28-yard line. Looks like they're gonna place it on the, closer to the 30. All right, they got it right about the 30-yard line where Shirachville will start. Well, Coach D, I think Shirachville has kind of dug a hole already, so they need to definitely score on this drive here. Yeah, they're out some, class. Yeah, to get some kind of uh, something going. All right, and the shotgun gives it off to one of his, his wide receiver. He goes left, goes right, and picks up a little of nothing. Right, he got back to the line of scrimmage, if that. Prince George County Public Schools wants you to know that we're here for you. That's parents and students to support you and give you what you need to succeed. 
Strotsville, they're lining up in the shotgun. Snap, gives it off to a wide receiver, number four, comes around the left side. Oh, he got pop. Pop go the weasel. He got hit hard there, Coach D. He knocked him out at about the 33-yard line. That was Will Silver that was running, got hit number four. All right, Shirazville comes out of the huddle. Third they down. line up. Third down and long. Third down and long, they're in the shotgun. Here's the snap. Oh, snap, didn't they? Here's the snap, it was no snap. Flag on the play, false start, I think. You know, that reminds me of like how you do when you cook. How you do when you, you know, cook? How it, you smell the smoke coming up and, and the flames. All you, right. You can't get the thing underneath to flip the uh, burgers over. Okay. I hear you. I hear you. So, uh, so is it timeout? Yeah, it looks like it's a timeout. It's a timeout on the play. Timeout. Just. County Public Schools. Various positions are available, including teachers, custodians, bus drivers, nurses, counselors, food service workers, substitute teachers, librarians, maintenance workers, and more. Enjoy a range of benefits, including competitive salaries, comprehensive health insurance, retirement plans, and more. Ready to take the next step? Apply now by scanning the QR code or visiting our website. Join us in shaping the future and empowering the next generation. I don't need CTE. I'm going to college. Really? I'm in CTE and I'm going to college. How'd you do that? CTE gives you college credits, industry certifications, and scholarships. And right now, I'm getting paid in my internship. You get all that from CTE? Yes, for free. Who's next? Me. I have some questions about CTE. Right, we're back. Gerardsville in the shotgun. Here's the snap. Looking left, throws over the middle. It's caught by number seven for Gerardsville, Anthony Salisbury. First down. first down. Pretty good throw there, Coach D. It is a first down. That was a pretty good throw. Quarterback Xavier Bunn in the shotgun. One back next to him in the shotgun, gives it off to the back. Number 11, he's trying to get around the left side. Oh, they wrapped him up real quick. That was Keith Artis, number 11, Keith Artis, that was wrapped up. Coach D. Fairmont is kind of keeping that edge closed off, not letting them get around, get around that corner. Well, that's the one thing that they've been doing very well. Right, they're keeping them contained. But I have a strange suspicion the way they're playing, they may end up going to the air in order to cut some of this. Uh, yeah, to try to cut some of this lead they got. Yeah. That, all right, out of the shotgun. Gives it to number 11. Oh, he takes a loss. Keith Artis. Keith Artis on the run. He takes a loss of about three yards. Hopefully you're enjoying this game just like Coach D and I. A beautiful Friday and an early game, too. I like it. Four o'clock start. These games are so fun to do and watch to see the future college stars as well as the future pro stars right here in Prince George County Public Schools. All right, he's out of his shotgun, throws along. Oh, he missed it, overthrew him. There's a penalty mark on the play, it's probably holding. Let's see. One 
once. It's a good game going on right here at Fairmont High School. The Hornets Nest between Shiratsville and Fairmont High School. The beautiful September 15th, 2023. And you're looking at Prince George County Public Schools game of the week. Coach D, I missed you. I missed you a couple of the games or back. The last year. Yeah, we I was going for therapy there. Oh, okay. You was going you know, for therapy. All right. You might need it probably. You know, you know, I had to go to uh, color commentary to therapy. Okay, very good. All right, he's trying to. Boy, they cut him off real quick. Yeah, that was great defense by Fairmont. Great defense. Xavier Bunn. They stopped him before he could get, get going. Fourth down, so they're probably going to have to punch us away. Oh, no doubt about it with they're way short. It's like fourth and fourth and at least 18 almost. There's an injured player. There's an injured player? Okay. All right, there's an injured player on the, the field. We'd like to let you know tutoring is available for you. Parents that your children need tutoring, you can go to the website. Tutor Me is an online tutoring platform that connects students to live tutors 24 hours a day in over 300 subjects right from their home. Tutors are available to help students improve their grades, understand difficult concepts, or just get help with simple questions. Tap on to the Prince George County Public Schools website for tutoring support. Coach D, um, as we are moving forward here, what do you think or who do you think is going to, we know Flowers, we know Flowers is definitely going to, We'll take a break, and we'll be right back after this short break. Prince George's County Public Schools is pleased to offer a wide range of specialty program opportunities for students. Our programs are unique and provide hands-on experience that aim to spark interest while preparing students for a successful future. These opportunities are open to all students from pre-kindergarten through 12th grade via an application or lottery process. To learn more about the application process and view a complete list of programs, please visit visit www.pgcps.org backslash applications. George's County Public Schools career and technical education programs. Choose from dozens of in-demand career paths where high skill commands high wages. With CTE, you can launch your career, earn your high school diploma, get industry certified or licensed, and get college credits with no student debt all at the same time. Learn to work and work to learn. Apply to a Prince George's County Public Schools CTE program now to start building your future today. As a career and technical education student at Prince George's County Public Schools, you get college credit and industry certifications while you're in high school, but that's just the beginning. You can be a part of fun student organizations, compete with your peers, earn scholarships from industry partners, find a mentor in your chosen field, become an apprentice, and get help finding a job. CTE is just the starting point, and your future starts now. Oh yeah, don't let anything hold you back. Prepare for what's next at Prince George's Community College. 
Train for the career of your dreams and secure your future. Earn an associate degree or a certificate and you could start pursuing your passion today. It is so rewarding to go into a community that has distressed properties and to be able to transform that. This is CTE. All right, we're back. We had an injury on the last play, uh, but he's going to be okay. They had to cart him off the field, but he, hopefully he'll be okay. All yeah, right, Sharotsville. Right. Okay. Sharotsville like has the ball. Okay, when they They're, took him off the field. Then the shotgun. Uh, that's going to be a uh, got a flag on the play yeah. already. Motion. What happened then, Coach D? Motion. Motion? Okay. You got to wait till the ball snap before you go across the line. <laughs> you, you're so right. <laughs> Couldn't say that any better, Coach. Yeah, you know. All right. All right, they're moving them back. Five-yard penalty. Motion. Illegal motion. All right. Sharotsville, they're back in the shotgun. He takes the snap. Oh, that's probably one Very of the short. Oh, oh, they my. got a – Sherrodsville got a good bounce. Goes to the 37-yard line. Anybody that kicks like that should probably play lotto. We'd like to let you know, Safe Schools of Maryland. Today, Fairmont, 14, Sherrod, 0. Safe Schools of Maryland. Welcome to Safe Schools Maryland, an anonymous and free reporting system available to students teachers and school staff members, parents, and the general public to report any school or student safety concern. All right, we're getting ready back. I don't know, it looked like they posing for pictures to me, Coach D. I don't know, it look like nothing. <laughs> okay, now I guess they decided. They were standing like they were posing for pictures. All right, Fairmont, getting ready. They've lined up for the first first play of the third time they've had the ball here. Okay, quarterback's under center, gives it to the tailback. Up the middle, pretty good. All the way to the 51-yard line. The 40-yard line, line of their Fairmont. Fairmont's 49-yard line he takes it to. Coach, it just seems like Fairmont's getting off the ball much faster than Sherrodsville. Yeah. You know. And it also looks like Fairmont has a size advantage. Yes, that that that's the push right there. And they, they seem definitely to have a size advantage. All right. Fairmont quarterback under center. Tailback and fullback. Gives it back. Goes up the middle, but it's up pushing on Fairmont. Ball start. We all know that our district is one of the best in the state. We've proven it with our teams on the field and in the classroom. We ask that all spectators at the game help to continue that proud tradition by showing good sportsmanship throughout this contest. Let's make our visitors feel welcome and give our officials the respect they deserve for doing a difficult job. All right, Coach D, they're lining up once again, Fairmont. Quarterback under center, yeah, tailback and fullback, gives it to the fullback. He misses, get a couple. Uh -oh. oh, he lost the ball, I think he was down. I think he was, he was in the grass. All right, he takes it to the Sherrodsville 48 yard line. So for second and 12. Second and 12, you heard it from Coach D, second and 12 for Fairmont. You know, there's no wind. I mean, it's I mean, it's really just very calm and peaceful. Couldn't be a better day for football, could it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Coach D, you said, I'm glad to have you back. All right, Fairmont on the center, takes it up the middle. Oh, pretty good. To the 47-yard line of 47-yard line of Sherrodsville. Third and long, probably about eight yards to go. Third and long. Yeah. 
What what are they doing now? What's what's the hold up? All right, he's under center. Goes back to throw, throws down the middle. Broken up. Took quite a while for him to release the ball, and once he did, the DB had a chance to adjust him. Fourth down, they're getting ready. Fairmont will be punting. Tony Porter will be back to punt. Very good, Tony Porter. Who do we got here on the back there? Number 12, Akufo. All right, now they got 11 men on the field getting ready for the punt. There's a whistle on the play. Timeout Fairmont. We'll be right back after this short break. I've always loved to cook and love to take care of people. This is CTE. What I like about teaching is it provides me opportunity to help others. This is CTE. Choose your path by applying to a Prince George's County CTE program today. A uh, spring, chicken. spring chicken. I'm back. Coach D in here making jokes, having me laugh. I just told him I used to be a spring chicken. I'm just a chicken now. I don't run as fast, jump as high, but I still do my thing. I still do my thing. Uh, yeah, Jeff, you better say it off there, Coach D. All right, Fairmont's getting ready to punt to Sherrodsville. Shir Fairmont 14, Chiratsville 0. Chiratsville better get on the board. A high. Another uh, penalty. Yeah, another penalty on. Like who's it on this time? Again. Is it on Fairmont again? We'll see. Illegal yes, motion? Is. Yes, it is. Well, while, we, while we're here, we might as well let you know health care is for all students. It's fourth down. All right, we get ready to. Try this punt again. See if we can get it off. Fairmont. Looks like he left early. Once again. There it is. False start. They keep this up. They're going to be back in their end zone punting the ball. Families, we'd like to let you know Hazel Health has partnered with Prince George County Public Schools to provide access to quality health care. All right, here we go. Get ready to. Punt again. Punt was, I mean, the snap was high and it was blocked. Oh, my God. What a disaster. Two motion, two false, <laughs> false starts. And then when you, on the third chance that you get a chance to get a good snap, you boggle and the punt is blocked. What a way to start in regards to special teams there. All right, Fairmont has given up the ball. It's first down for Shirazville, and they're on the 33-yard line of Fairmont. Well, hopefully, Coach D, they'll get on, get in the end zone this time or get some something on the board. Well, I would hope, Fairmont would hope that not Shirazville, the Shirazville, once again, we'll they're in the shotgun. Number one, Xavier Bunn is the quarterback. And there's a timeout. I, t I told you earlier, health care is at no cost for families this year. Prince George County Public Schools have partnered with Hazel Health. And you can 
get quality health care for all of your our students. All right, we're going to go to a break, and we'll be back after this short break. Definitely don't let the haters hold you back. Prepare for what's next at Prince George's Community College. Train for the career of your dreams and secure your future. Earn an associate degree or a certificate, then you can start pursuing your passion today. Students and visitors are about to see Prince George's County Public Schools' new weapons detection system. Called OpenGate, the system is designed to automatically screen people with backpacks and bags for threat detection. We're back. All right, he, he was running. He ran around the corner, but he missed it. That was a botch play. What you think, Coach D? That was a botch play. I mean, sure was. right. It wasn't a busted play, but it was a botch play. It wasn't. It didn't turn out what they had planned for it to. All right, Chiratsville, they're lining up on the 38-yard line here. Second and ten. Look like we got a pause. Oh yes, that's the end of the first quarter. Oh okay, the end of the first quarter. Fourth. 14, Fairmont Heights, Sherrottsville, zero, and we'll be right back. It will also identify other contraband items that are not allowed on school property. Open gate screening is fast and automatic. It requires no removal of backpacks, bags, or purses, and it's designed for easy walkthrough flow. When you arrive on campus, you should have your laptop out and be ready to hand it to a staff member before walking through. You can retrieve your belongings on the other side and... Shirazville is on the 35 yard line, 36 yard line. They're in the shotgun, throws over the middle. Oh, it hit, it hit the ground. It was short. It hit the ground. Oh, it said it was complete. Said he picked, he caught it. They may have on the 28 the yard play line. Somebody throw the yeah, red he flag looked, on that? Right, he looked like he. That guy, he picked that one up off the, off the ground. But he may, he may have picked it up. He may have got it. I mean, this isn't right. baseball. This is football, isn't it? Yes, it is. All right, in the shotgun, Shirazville. Here they come. Jump. All right, we're back. About, about the 18 yard line. Oh, about the 18 yard line. About the 24 yard line. As you saw earlier, we do have some replay. You saw that was a replay of the last play that was just run. Shirazville, here they are in the shotgun again. One tail back, two wide receivers spread out to the left, two to the right. Being chased, throws complete. Oh, this is this is not pro. This is co this is high school. He, if his knee is down, he's down. 
Well, he could, could he could continue running if he was not touched by a defender in the if he's in the pros. All right, they're at the 14 yard line. Hopefully, Shirachville can get a score to get back in this game. They're down 14 nothing on the 14 yard line. All right, Bun is in the shotgun. One tail back, three wide outs. He cuts back, throws it. Got a receiver. He's still up. All the way down to the eight yard line. First down. He was trying his best, Coach D. Matter of fact, they marked it at the six. They marked it at the six yard line. Rochville, this okay. We're gonna have a replay here. All right, we're coming back to live play right now. There was a penalty on the play. Was it against Rochville, yeah, Coach D? Okay, they're gonna back it up. Wow, look like at least ten yards here. Could be 15. Is it a holding penalty? Okay. We like to let you know prevention starts with parents. Fentanyl related overdoses among teens are rising. You can find information on the Prince George County Public Schools website. For information to help prevent fentanyl overdoses. We're in the second quarter, Fairmont 14, Shirachville 0. 10 minutes and 30 seconds left in the second quarter. 10.30 left in the second quarter, first half. All right, as, as as they resolve whatever issues that are on the field. Coach D, as you, do you see anything that I'm not to look at seeing? Well, it seems like every time Shiratsville starts to do something positive, something negative comes up. Yes. But this uh, first down and goal, even though they're now at the 22 yard line. I call it bumbling and stumbling. That's what Shiratsville's been doing, bumbling and stumbling quite a bit. All right. Let's see if they can get something on the board. Bun, the quarterback is in the shotgun. One tailback. Two, two wide outs to the right, one to the left. Bun, goes back, throws to his tailback. He bobbles the ball, capes it. He goes around the right side. Out of bounds at about the 12-yard line. Out of bounds at the 12-yard line. Nice Going play. back to the replay, there you see the play as he ticked the ball around the right-hand side. Took it all the way to the 12-yard line. Very good play. Number 11, Keith Artis. He's pretty quick, pretty quick. We hope you're enjoying this beautiful Friday evening for the game of the week in Prince George County Public Schools on our YouTube channel. Bun is in the shotgun. In motion, one of the wideouts. He's been chased. He's been caught almost. He's wrapped up. Fairmont has wrapped him up on the 28-yard line. D, he was running for his life. Yeah, definitely was. All right, he's wrapped him up pretty good. He's going off. He got slightly hurt. All right, here's the replay. As you can see, he was running for his life there. He was trying to get away, but they... Wrapped him up right there. Took him down. Good play by Fairmont defense. All right. <laughs> All right. All right, yeah, that's right. And I like it when it's hot, you know, hot chicken. All right. He, out the shotgun, he's throwing, going long. Oh, Whoa. 
Oh, intercepted by Fairmont. Intercepted and run back all the way to the 23-yard line. Anthony Proctor. Oh, flag on the play. We got a player down. I don't know if Proctor went down his slight injury. It looks like he got a cramp. Once again, Sherrodsville. Yeah, it might have been an illegal block. All right, as you can see, Fairmont has intercepted again. That's the second interception of the game. Well, I told you, Sherrodsville has been stumbling and bumbling, and they did just that. Bumbled one more time with an interception. As I said a little earlier, instructional support and tutoring is available. All right, we're getting ready once again. Ball is on the 14 yard line, Fairmont. Fairmont quarterbacks under center. Tailback and fullback. Oh, he fumbled. Bad handoff. I'm waiting to see who got the ball. Fairmont recovered the ball, no problem. All right, as we continue right here with the game of the week on a beautiful Friday, we're in the Hornets' nest. We got two teams, both of them are Hornets, and this is called a Hornets Bowl. But there's only one it's only one that's Fairmont the original. Heights. Who is it? Fairmont Heights. Okay, all right. You say so. Hey. All right, in the shotgun. He takes it out the shotgun, cuts the corner. Pick up of about five. Takes it to the 21 yard line. I, I bring that up to say that the, uh, the first two schools that came into the town, the Fairmont Heights Hornets, were one of the first two. They were one of the so first two. Okay. All right, very good. You know, that almost sounds like the uh, HU uh, thing with Hampton and Howard. Who's the real HU? Oh, who's the real HU? Okay, Howard University and Hampton U. Okay, who's the real HU? Depends on who you. Well, which, which? Who you, you well, Howard is older. Ho uh, Howard is older than Hampton, isn't he? Well, yeah, All right. Hampton was uh, the institute at one time. All right, Fairmont in the shotgun, takes it, taking it to the left. Trying to pick up, oh, that was a pretty good run. Excellent. Took it all the way to the 36 yard line. Jeremiah Mitchell. That was the first down, first down Fairmont. All right, 7.30 to go in the first half. Fairmont 14, Shiratsville zero. I'm Tavell Ralston, your play-by-play -play commentator, and I'm here with Coach D, Joel Deering, my man. Joel, what's, what's happening here now? Looks like a pitch out. Looks like he's got room to run, and he does. Nice pickup, Joel. First down. Fairmont, number four. Amari Braxton. I don't know. I, if I was to ask Sherville, Shirachville, how do you spell relief? You be the bus on the way home? <laughs> I would just say score. S C O R E. Score. At least score something. All right. Fairmont has the ball. Under center. Straight ahead. Maybe a pickup of two, maybe a pickup of two. Takes it to the Shiratsville 48 yard line. Second down. As we keep it moving. They have an unusual huddle. You see what I'm saying? Well, they they for the call from, from the bench, huh? from the, from the sideline. All right. 
I've, I've never seen a, a huddle like that. <laughs> All right. Wait a minute. You 60-something years man, old. Man, never seen man, a huddle like I that? just said it. Didn't I just say that? Did you hear me? Oh, okay. uh, you're, not, you're not losing your hearing, are you? Oh. All right. All right, here we go. Fairmont in the shotgun. Looks to pass over the middle. Underthrown. Remain second down. Eight to eight. A uh, flag on the play. Where did that come from? For what? Probably some extracurricular activity. Right. Is it penalty? A poor sportsmanship penalty? What is that? What's happening here? Well, we want to welcome you. If you're just now tuning in on our YouTube channel, we'd like to welcome you to the game of the week. I'm here with Coach D as we're watching Fairmont and Shiratsville. It was a false start on the play, on the last play. Looks like that's a 10 yard start. He went back five, and then he went back another five. Another five. Okay. You know my math isn't the best, but. <laughs> well, you know five plus five is ten. You know that. Yeah, but I don't All know right. you get that for a uh, five-yard penalty. Okay. All right. Fairmont lines up again. They're in the shotgun. Takes it left, Keeper. taking it by his, all by himself. Round the corner. Takes it to the 40-yard line. Takes it to Shiratsville, 40-yard line. That's going to be first down. They're moving the chains. They're moving the chains on them. First down, first down. Slight breeze out here now, a little breeze, but the weather is outstanding. In the mid 80s today, beautiful sunny blue skies. Couldn't ask for any better weather. All right, under center, throws it. Oh, he lost it. He may have recovered it. Fairmont may have recovered it. It was a pitch, and he lost it. I'll tell you one thing. That's the third fumble that Fairmont got back. Uh, it's unbelievable for the weather to be so nice and, you know, dry and just so many mishandles of the ball. We've had, like, maybe four or five fumbles, two interceptions. It's been... Wait, Braxton may have been hurt on that play. Hope not. He's coming out the game. He may have an injury on the play. All right, Fairmont is lining up. All right, Fairmont quarterbacks under center. Two backs. Goes to the flat. Number 12. Looks like he might take it. Very good. He went all the way to the 17 yard line of Shiratsville. Anthony Proctor. Anthony Proctor took it to the 12 yard line. Or to the 17 yard line, yes. Here's the replay of that play. As you can see, he came out, threw out to the flat. Nice run, though. Nice run. I'm enjoying that playback, Joel. We got playback like that. It's Good a thing job. Of beauty. Yes. Be able to play back and look at the play. If the light at the top of the pillar turns red, a staff member will pull you aside to a designated search area and perform a search of your person and backpack or any other bags you may have with you. If a weapon or a contraband is found, Law enforcement will be notified. Here's a reminder. All students and all visitors to campus during regular school hours will be required to enter through the open gate system and are subject to search. Your safety while in school is our top priority. We thank you for your patience and understanding as we implement this new security system. Are you looking for a stable career in education? All right.
right, we're back. Fairmont ball at the 17 yard line. Tailback, fullback. Quarterback's under center. Here's the snap. Gives it to the fullback up the middle. Oh, he was going up the middle. It went to the right outside. He took it all the way to about the, uh, it had to be about the 11 yard line. He's a big, he's a big guy for a fullback, isn't he? Most, yeah. Most fullbacks are big guys. Yeah, he's a big guy. Well, he high school. You don't want no fullback your size. <laughs> no, 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 you don't. No. Nah. Nah. I'm a small forward, not a power forward. If you're playing basketball, I'm a wide receiver, a quarterback. All right, here we go. Fairmont on the 11 yard line, under snap. Oh, he's taking it. Quarterback sneak, huh? Oh, he took it all the way to the house outside. Touchdown. Touchdown, Fairmont. Oh, wait, it's a holding. Holding call. Oh, it's a flag on the play. We'll hold Coming up. Back. We may have a flag on the play. Coming back. Holding. All right, here's the replay of the play. As you can see, he took it all the way around the corner, kept going right on into the end zone. It was a nice play, but it's going to be called back. Good work by our replay team. All of this is done by high school students. Believe me, this whole broadcast is done by high school students. So you just know the level of talent as well as the learning level to be doing something like this, moving toward the next level, which would be college or ESPN. All right, right up on the center. Gives it to the fullback once again. Oh, he stopped. He stopped in the back. He might have lost a half a yard, Coach Maybe D. More than that. Yeah, he might have lost at least a yard or half a yard. Two minutes and 20 seconds left in the second quarter. That's right. Two, less yeah, than 220 20 now. Running Clock running with 214 left in the first half. We hope everyone's enjoying this on the YouTube channel. I'm Tavell Ralston. I send a shout out to all my admin and staff at Greenbelt Middle School. Our fearless and excellent leader, Mr. Marcellus Clement, that leads us at Greenbelt Middle School. Thanks for all you do, Mr. Clement. All right, Fairmont is here waiting and for whatever decision that's coming for the next play from the sideline. Coaches told me that uh, I should have seen this type of communication. Uh, but anyway, we're going to take it from here. Out of the shotgun. Runs left. He's trying to do the same play again. He's trying to take it again. Oh, they caught him before he could get about to the 11-yard line. That was the same play, wasn't it? Yes. Looked like that was the same exact play. And one of the things we found out about football is when you have a play that you're successful with, you don't go away from it. You go back to it. You go back to it. All right, there's the replay once again. As you can see, he went to the 11-yard line, took it outside. All right. There, once again, Injured looking. Player. There was an injury. Who? Yeah, number 53 for Sharotsville. Injury on the play right now. Number 53, Derek Vasquez. Outside line one. We've had uh, at least two, three injuries already? Yes, we have. Okay. All right. Um, I'm still, Joel, I'm still trying to, I've never seen this. With, but look at the players looking at, I've never seen on the sideline that they're looking at, you know. Wait a minute, haven't you seen that a couple times today? That's something new to me. That's, yeah, college. Uh, I was just told some colleges do it. Okay, all right. I, it's been a long time since hey, listen, college. Joe, Joe, yeah, Joel. And and Dwayne just told me, I'm, if Dwayne helped me out here. But if you don't know, you ask somebody. All right, out of the shotgun. All right, he's looking to throw. He tries. Oh, he's terrible throw. He didn't even. The ball didn't get nowhere near the receiver. Sharotsville takes over. First and ten. 
29 seconds left in the first half. It's all right here, Prince George County Public Schools Game of the Week. Good times and football all right here on a sunny Friday. Thank God it's Friday, Joel. The eagle flies on Friday where I'm from in Chicago. They say the eagle flies. You, you know anything about that, Joel? Yeah, but it's Saturday it goes out to play. It goes out to play. Good. You got it. He got it. He got it, De Dwayne. He hit it right on the nose. On Saturday, he goes out to play. All right. He know all about it. I knew he did. All right, you've got a false start on that last play. I think he's too young to know about Dwayne, man. Oh. He's, Come he's on, Joel. Ball, <laughs> okay. Ten seconds to go. Ten seconds to go. They're going to let the clock run out. They're going to let the clock run out. All right. We end the first half. Fairmont 14, Chiratsville 0. And we're going to take a break for halftime. You're on the Prince George Network. We, we want to earn our respect. Get him. My name is Amari Braxton. Uh, I wear number four. I'm in the 12th grade and I play running back, linebacker, and I'm backup quarterback. For the past two weeks, we came in, you know, overconfident and over, uh, you know, overhyped and instead of actually focusing on the goal. And the goal is just to go out there, have fun, and execute. And in the process, get that W. Hey, Anthony Proctor, 12th grade. I play DB, safety. Uh, QB and wide receiver. Uh, it's just, we've been making a lot of mistakes, a lot of mental mistakes and physical mistakes. And, you know, we just gotta play as a team. All right, my name is Jeremiah Isaiah Mitchell Hutchin. I play quarterback and I'm in 10th grade. Going into the game against Sarasville, I feel very confident because we did a lot of film study. We stay in focus and we making sure we ready. Um, it just gets them pumped up, like ready to get stops, ready to do what we got to do so we can get the offense on and run the ball, pass the ball, do whatever we got to do to score. We getting better and just keep striving to where we need to be at to make championship, win a championship, stuff like that. You get a win? Nah, we will. We will keep fighting and keep fighting so we get that one for sure. Um, you work Friday. Over at Fairmont, we're looking forward to it. We know they're gonna be ready. We uh, we sure enough gonna be ready. We're working hard. Uh, we expect it to be a, a, a dog fight, but we ready to trade Woo! punches with. Uh, the season. My expectation is for us to uh, change the mindset and get on the winning track for a change. Um, there's no reason why we can't do it. We're young. But uh, this group right here don't quit. They don't quit, and uh, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about it. Yeah, we, we jumped off, we lost the first two. It was a learning experience. We played two 4A teams. Now we're getting, uh, like Coach, like Coach Ross said, we're taking the weight off the bar a little bit, coming down to, you know, uh, level playing field. I expect us to play as hard as we practice, to do the things that we work on, play hard, execute, and come on with the W. Mm, expecting something different. I expect a lot of fun, a lot of competition. It's a lot going into this game. So, it's like, yeah, it's just that. A lot of competition. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun to watch. Good job, good job, good job, good job. Arms, guys, arms, arms, arms. Good, good. Stop scratching, stop scratching. Uh, speed, execution, uh, you know, physicality. Definitely going, definitely going to get physical with them. Uh, we're going we're gonna to see a, a team that's determined. Determination, we're going we're gonna to come out with a W. Just expect to see more of the Hornets. We're going to come out strong from uh, game three on to game nine. We're going to definitely play better than we did the first two games. And y'all going to see more of us.
nothing can get outside of You're watching PG-13 2023. Welcome, welcome. Come on down. Come on down. Today we welcome a new season, Wise 2023. Today we're making fried chicken, french fries, hot dog, hamburgers. The best chicken in PG County right now. Here at the football game. Hey y'all, I'm Coach Ken and we have the Wise Chili this here. Today is our season opener. Let's go Puma! My name is Jack McFarland. I play D Saku. Go Puma! Today is uh, Wise High School versus Maury, a uh, team out of uh, Virginia Beach. Uh, uh, you know, today's game counts. It's the first one of the season, and uh, yeah, they have a really talented team. Look, we are in for an absolute test. The, the question is whose fight, whose game can we make it? Can we make it our game, or can, are they going to keep it theirs? Uh, this is my first varsity game. I spent a lot of time on JV. You know, I've been working for this moment for the past two years. It's just like it all just hit me at one time. Uh, baby. Yep. Glad to see you, man. Definitely, Glad to see you, man. Definitely, Tony versus Oxen Hill, man. If you ain't here, you need to get here. Holy Oxen Hill PTSA. Thank you for coming out. Oxen Hill, let's go, Clippers! Well, it's bigger than just football for us. Like I said, this is a community. We right down the street from each other. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the shipyard. Live from Oxen Hill Stadium, home of the Mighty Mighty Clippers. The community outback bowl. At the end of the day, we're all on one team, man. We uh, we go through the same things, and we all here trying to make sure these kids in the community um, achieve greater things than we achieved. We have this community bowl today that both coaches decided to do, and we're doing it with the purpose of bringing the community together to uh, show positivity within the community. I mean, you got basically two schools that can. In the same neighborhood, you know, you could literally walk to both schools if you really wanted to. Um, so it's, it's just only right, only right that we call it the community bowl, leaving something like that. I'm excited for the kids. Uh, we've been asked for a better matchup for a first game against Potomac at our rivalry, so we're going to get tested. It's going to be a great chess match between coaches. <laughs> I'm Coach Ronnie Crump, and you're watching PG 13. I'm Coach Jeffries from Oxygen High School, and you're watching PG 13. I saw a hole, I went, I got my good blockers, we was out of there, you know what I mean? It's all team, it's all team, this is what we needed. It hurts real bad uh, to lose, but it's our first game of the year, and we got a long way to go. Uh, we start conference ball next week, and uh, we just got to get better. Um, I thought we did a good job of staying in the game, and things just didn't go our way tonight. I seen the corner bail, and then I look, I look right away. Oh, 
Hey, free hot dog. He said I couldn't take contact. Right in the front room. Oh, this is number two. Right off the outside. This kid is dynamite. My goodness. Great run right there by number two. Congratulations on being the first champion of the Community Bowl, sponsored by Outback 3519. Who's coming to get this trophy? Brand new year, brand new season, brand new attitude. So we're ready to go. Y'all go come up and show today. Hey, Coach Draco, you want to show up today? My name is Coach Black, offensive line coach, CH Flowers. Right there, right there. No. Oh. My mission here is to make sure that I get all the young men that's in school. We got like 30 something seniors. And my other mission is also to raise them into being the young men that they are and making sure that they're scholars. So we're going with a two uh, quarterback system, uh, Adrian Favors and Mark Harrison. My name is Mark Harrison Jr. I'm wearing number 16 and I play quarterback. My name is Adrian Favors. I wear number 11 and I play quarterback too. Two quarterback system is just, um, we have a younger guy coming up from JV and then we have a guy that's been around. They bring something different. They, they got their own strong suit. One is very fast with the legs and the other one is a gunslinger. So that's that one-two punch. Most people see it as a running back, but we got it at quarterback as well. We get along pretty well, you know. We have our competitive moments, you know, of course, because, you know, competition brings out the best and the worst of everybody. So, you know, great competition, but at the end of the day, you know, we're teammates. We're very excited. That's one of our uh, long-term goals is to develop our young men into men. And uh, also, that's just what we do. And, and so, just we're, the whole coaching staff have decided to get and get to know the young man and just get back at him, make sure we mentor him, make sure they all doing the right thing on and off the field, uh, and, and even at the home with the parents. So, uh, we're, we're, we're excited. Um, we love this time of the year. It's great. And, uh, you know, and just, we'll just see how it ends.
All right, we're back. You can see the highlights of the game. There you go. You can see Fairmont working it. There have been many highlights of this game, but not all have been positive highlights. But you can see the replay. That was a good play, but they called it back. They ended up calling that play back for Chirachville. Here's another good play, but this is a good defensive play by Fairmont. All right, we're out. That was some good replay from the first half. I'm Tavell Ralston, and we're back here at Fairmont High School with Joel Deering, Coach D. Coach, what do you think of that first half? I think that Fairmont High School did a lot of good things. Probably will hope to do better on this time. All right, Chirachville has has the ball, trying to run it back. He's oh, he. All right, 22 yard line or 28 yard line. Never fear, we're here, right here in the Hornets' nest, and we have a pretty good game, but not as what I really thought it would be. It's not as close as I would have liked for it to be. Joel, what do you think uh, Chirachville is going to have to do in order to get on the board? One they're going to have to do is move the ball without taking it over. That's the first thing. Ain't no penalty here. All right, well, they're lining up. Chirachville in the shotgun. One tailback, three wide outs. Somebody in motion there. All right, gives it to the tailback. He takes it, trying to cut the corner. He doesn't get around. Number 11. No gain on the Number 11, Keith Artis, trying to cut that corner and Fairmont cut him off. He didn't get there, he did not get there. We hope that you've been enjoying yourself. First half was, it was counterproductive for Fairmont, but very counterproductive. It was counterproductive for Chirachville. All right, in the shotgun, he's looking. Oh, he got caught in the backfield. He lost. He lost. Got sacked for about five hey, yards. Third down. Third down now in about 14. Hopefully you're enjoying the game just like we are here at Fairmont High School. The game of the week. Prince George County Public Schools High School game of the week. All right, Shabbat, Shabbat Violas lining up again. Bun is in the shotgun, tailback, four wideouts, left, right. Blitz. He bypasses. Ooh, Terrible pass. Turn, that off. Now that, that was a terrible pass. No spiral. The ball was just. Brings up fourth and 14. Rodville is going to punt. Walker and Gorham back for Fairmont Heights to receive the ball. We need to watch the space here. Huh? It looks like it's partially blocked. There he oh, goes. Got a nice roll. Rolls to the, about the 36 yard line. All right, very good. We'd like to let you know we're celebrating Latino educators right here at Prince George County Public Schools. It's Hispanic Heritage Month. means recognizing and giving flowers to the many Latinos and Latinas who have contributed to society. It is important to celebrate it in the PG Prince George County Public Schools so our students learn about diversity and all the great things that Latinx have accomplished. It's all right here. I don't know about the food, but the fun, the sun, and Joel, Coach D, here to keep us. What What are you doing? You're keeping us laughing. I know that. And you always got something good to tell us. That last play, that last play, can you tell us something about that last play that we just saw Shirachville here? Well, that's probably one of the best plays they've had all game. All game. 
Yeah, I, I've. Usually, I, with the good play, they have like a, some kind of penalty. Right. All right. All right. Bear in mind, it's, there was the replay. We play the replay back. You can see. We got tangled up. All right, we're back. Live action. Under, giving to the fullback up the middle. Picks up at about four yards. He's to the 42 yard line. Third down coming up. This is called milking the clock. Milking the clock? Yeah. Already? Stop them. If you can't stop them running the ball. 9.37 in the third quarter. Yes. Right. No doubt about it. Okay. I agree with that. I agree with that. They're keeping it on the ground to milk the clock to keep the clock running. Under center, Fairmont. Pitch out to the tailback. Number four to Will Silver. Short about a yard. They short of about a yard on that. You're right, Coach D. All right. They got some substitutions coming in. Fourth down, they didn't get it. They're going to have to punt. Special teams are coming in. Let's hope not. Counsel, let me ask you this. Would you go for it? Not in this case. Not not, not if I was Fairmont. I mean, I'm I'm ahead by two touchdowns. All right, I'm And you need a yard. Nah, I just go on and punt. I'm ahead by two. Two touchdowns. All right, here we go. Oh! High snap. That was a real high snap. It's a flag on the play. All right, illegal motion again on Fairmont. It's fourth down. They're trying to get a punt off. This game has had a lot of breaks in it, as far as just seem like, you know, we're waiting to see what's next. All right, here we go. Fairmont's lined up. Getting ready to punt to Sherrodsville. High snap again. He almost got it blocked again. All right, it rolls to approximately the 33-yard line of Sherrodsville. The superintendent's town hall. It's coming up. Join Superintendent House for in-person and virtual town hall meeting in September and October. All right, we're back to continue. Sherrodsville has the ball on the 32-yard line. Fairmont on defense. This game has been pretty lopsided as far as I can say, Joel. I mean, it's it's been all Fairmont. Um, Sherrodsville has, like I said, bumbled and stumbled so many times. They had opportunities to score, but penalties crushed their opportunities. All right, Sherrodsville in the shotgun. Got a man in motion. I don't know. All right, a false start. Once again. Over and over again, Joel, penalties, penalties. If we could just look at the stats for penalties, they got probably 100 yards in penalties. At least, exactly. All right, they're trying to get it together, Sherrodsville. Players are coming in and out. Number one, Mr. Bunn. Xavier Bunn is quarterback for Sherrodsville. All right, they're lining up. Bun is in the shotgun with the tailback to his left side or right side. Two wideouts to the left. Both of them in motion. Wow, they both. Uh, <laughs> they, they don't know. Oh, my God. Yes. Once again, illegal motion. Stumbling and bumbling over and over again. If they don't have 100 yards in penalties, it's right at 100 now for sure. Yeah. 
this week has been a, it's gone kind of fast, Joel. It's the third week of school, but it went kind of fast. It's the first full week. All right. You're in the shotgun, Shiratsville. Trying to kick it around. Oh, he, oh, pop go to Weasel there. Larry with the big uh, stop in the back field. Third down. Frustration there. Quarterback slammed the ball on the field. And now he's going over to try to lawyer up. The quarterback is losing. That, 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 that little offense. short running back, I think it was, uh, August O'Neill. Little short guy, but he. I could, we, we had last week or two weeks ago. We had a team that we were looking at, Oxen Hill. Not well, not Oxen Hill, but Potomac. They had like a team well, of mighty mouses. Potomac is in Oxen Hill. Right. They <laughs> yeah. Yes. They both in Oxen Hill, but uh, they had a team of uh, real small but really fast mighty mouse kind of players. And um, even though the game was a little lopsided, you yes. could see they had a lot of speed. All right. There's a timeout on the Time field with 6.32 to play. Fairmont 14, Chirachville Shira zero. We'll be right back after this short break. Georgia's County Public Schools. Various positions are available, including teachers, custodians, bus drivers, nurses, counselors, food service workers, substitute teachers, librarians, maintenance workers, and more. Enjoy a range of benefits, including competitive salaries, comprehensive health insurance, retirement plans, and more. Ready to take the next step? Apply now by scanning the QR code or visiting our website. Join us in shaping the future and empowering the next generation. I don't need CTE. I'm going to college. Really? I'm in CTE and I'm going to college. How'd you do that? CTE gives you college credits, industry certifications, and scholarships. And right now, I'm getting paid in my internship. You get all that from CTE? Yes, for free. Who's next? Me. I have some questions about CTE. Fairmont High School. Fairmont Heights High School. Fairmont Heights High School. I'm okay. I'm glad Mr. Joel got me that. Well, yeah, Fairmont Heights. Yeah, because once you've been to the Heights, you can only. All right. Uh -oh. All right. He finally, finally. Shirazville finally got a positive play. Complete pass to Antonio Salisbury. Oh, wait. Is he? Nearly a first down. First and 10 now. That was a pretty good play. Bun threw a good pass. Nice pickup. It's third and 12. Third and 12. That's how many penalties they've had to add on to it. All right. Shrottsville in the shotgun once again. Bun. Rolling out. Continue to run, trying to cut the corner. He's got around the corner. Looks like he got it. Look, I don't know if he got a first down. He needs to get to about the 40. <laughs> Xavier Bunn. You got to go for this. You have to go for this. Got to go. Go for Fourth down. They have no other choice but to try to get something going. All right, it's fourth down, Shiratsville. Bun is in the shotgun. Lone tailback with him to the right. Looking to his right, throws it to number 11. Artis. Artis, he's still on his feet. He's going the other way. Oh! Oh, he lost the ball! Fumble! Oh! He knocked.
knocked him off his feet and knocked the ball out of his hands too. Oh, yeah. I thought that was a fumble on the play. I guess it could. Here's the replay. You can look at the replay. All right, as you see, he got it out to Artis. Tried to get around the corner. He got stopped, but he then he got away. But watch this. This is a hit. Knocked the ball completely. I don't know how they did. They got that ball back. They recovered it. All right, Shirazville in the shotgun. First and 10. Offsides. Fairmont jump, or is it false start again? Another false start. Stumbling and bumbling. That's what they've been doing this whole game, Shirazville. They make one, one play positive and then take two or three plays negative backward. Fairmont 14, Shirazville 0. All right, they're lining up. Here they come. Bun in the shotgun again. Lone tailback. He's looking long. He goes all the way. That's going to be a pass interference. Flag on the play. Yeah, it was. He, he held yeah. it. Yeah. He that's, held it. That's how I met my wife like that. I'm not going to comment. You know, I, I, I hugged her. I, I, well, I'm sure you did, you know. That's for another day. That again, that's for that. another day, Mr. Coach. That's for another day. Hopefully your wife is looking at the telecast and she can hear. She watch this. You know? uh, re All right, here's the replay on the, the last play. As you can see, the DB was holding him, grabbed him. He thought that he might go all the way on him, so he, he grabbed him. Now we see that, is there a penalty on Shirajville? Yeah, right, illegal motion. All right, here they go, out of the shotgun. He gives the ball to number 11. Goes down the he middle. He did, he, he, if he got a yard, Coach D, did he get a yard, if that? If he did. All right, we're winding down in the third quarter, four. 40 to go, and the clock is running. As long as they're running, the clock is running. We also like to inform our students, upcoming immunization. We have free clinics to be immunized. All right, there, Shirazville in the shotgun. He throws again. He's got a man wide open. Touchdown. 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 About time. About time, Shirazville gets on the board. About time he gets on the board, touchdown. Here's coming back with the playback. We'll be looking for the playback in just a moment. Here we go. As you can see, he rolled out through to his left. Caught him right there. Number three for Sharotsville. That was a great play for them. Austin O'Neill, touchdown. See if they go for two. You think they're gonna go for two? Well, no, come on, Joel. They only need it. They need to just go for a single point. Just go for the extra point at you this time. You like you played, you go for <laughs> to get back into the ball game. All right. Okay. If you say so. They're going for two. Two point conversion is nice. I myself think that was a bad decision. I'm going to tell you why it may not have been a bad decision. The reason is because you don't know their kicking. Uh, okay. They got somebody kick the ball like you. The ball may be like kick the uh, center and the uh, behind it. So going for two, they know at least they got a possibility of getting two yards. What do you think? You have that man that the I, ball that's, kicking? That's, you know? that's the whole problem. That's the whole problem, Coach D. I'm not thinking. I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a thinking person. I'm a doing person, see? <laughs> I would kick it right through the uprights because okay. I'm doing. Okay. All right. I like I like working with you because you always got something for me. You keep me you keep me on my toes. You know that means I have to you know I'm tippy toes when I'm around you. Know? Think of what 
lift that would have given the team. Well, first of all, they got on lift anyway. Yeah, seven. if they had scored the two, that would have. By I agree. Getting that two point conversion, right. even if they miss it, they know they're still going to need a two point conversion now. Yeah, so now they know they're going to need it for sure. No doubt about it. All right, they're getting ready to kick off. Shiratsville, they're kicking off. A line drive kick. Number 12, Proctor with the ball. All right, he takes it to the 43-yard line. Good run back. They're in good field position. Superintendent Town Hall joins Superintendent. All right, there, there goes the replay. As you, <laughs> the superintendent's town hall joins Superintendent House in person and virtual town hall meetings in September and October. Thank you, Superintendent House, for coming and joining the Prince George County Public School System. All right, they throw it out to the, oh. Throw it out to the flat. He mishandled it, couldn't catch it. It's second down. Fairmont Heights. The big stop. Fairmont's under the seat. Oh, that almost was an interception. That was that could have been a pick six for sure. That could have been a pick six for sure if he'd have caught that. All right, it's third down. Fairmont Heights has kind of got stifled for a moment now. They need to get the ball moving. They're only one score ahead now. All right, they're coming back to the line. Third down and 10. Quarterback under center. Goes back, throwing. Got his man, number 12. All right, he was short. He was short at least five yards. A Kufo, he threw the ball to a Kufo. He couldn't, excuse me, he threw it to number 12 for Fairmont Heights. Parker. Parker. All right. All right, you can see the replay as they show it. It's, it was a good pass. He got it. He got the ball to him. They wrapped him up real quickly, so he could not get the first down. Fairmont's taking a timeout here. There's a timeout. We'll be back in just moments after this show. Prince George's County Public Schools is pleased to offer a wide range of specialty program opportunities for students. Our programs are unique and provide hands-on experience that aim to spark interest while preparing students for a successful future. These opportunities are open to all students from pre-kindergarten through 12th grade via an application or lottery process. To learn more about the application process and view a complete list of programs, please visit visit www.pgcps.org backslash applications. All right, we're back live. Fairmont lined up. And the tilt. Oh, wow. Well, there goes that idea. Ball start. There goes that idea. Put that one in there. In there. I was wondering. They, they were jumping around. Well, sometimes, you know. Fairmont's a young team. Fairmont's a young team. When you have a young team, these are all learning experiences as they try to build. You can tell that was one. Oh, 
Paramount getting their play signals put in from the sideline. All right. Two wideouts to the left, two wideouts to the right. Quarterback takes it on his own, trying to cut the corner. He did not make it. Fourth down. Fairmont has got a little stagnant. Not able to move the ball. This gives Sherrottville an opportunity. They've been trailing this whole game. Might be an opportunity for them now to tie this game up. We'll see from this punt. Hopefully they don't get the punt blocked, Fairmont. This would be excellent field position for Sherrottsville if they block this punt or if they start to move this ball. Here they go out of the shotgun. He doesn't make it. Once again, Bun Xavier. Bun trying to get around the corner and can't get there. Beautiful day for football. Second down, Sherrottsville on the Fairmont 49 yard line. Second and about 12. All right, Schwarzville comes out. Bun in the shotgun again. He died. I've never seen him. He's only been under center maybe once or twice. All right, in the shotgun throws it out to us. Wide receiver. Yeah, yeah, he, before he could even catch the ball, he had let it go. He knew that pop go to weasel was going to happen to him. He knew he was going to get pop. He knew it. 14, Fairmont Heights and zero for Shirachville. Parents and guardians can go to the school's website to find out about bus routes and the impact. So excuse me, Shirachville, I forgot they got six. They got six. They got six. All right, there's, oh, that almost was a pick six there. Bud better be careful. All right, it's fourth down. Sherrodsville is going to have to punt the ball back to Fairmont Heights. Fairmont has stopped moving the ball like they were in the first half. Dorm and Proctor back for Fairmont Heights. All right. Sherrodsville back to punt. Pretty good punt. Got it off. Uh -oh. oh, really good. Really good coverage. Got him down at the, about the six yard line. That was a good, that was good coverage. That was a, that was a good. Two eleven in the left in the third quarter. Fairmont Heights fourteen. Sherrodsville six. Here's the replay. This is a pretty good punt. The return was little or nothing. He tried. All right, we're back live. Fairmont Heights on the six yard line. Joel, what it looks like. Uh, they kind of, yeah. yeah that's, that's right, 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 right. They they were doing like the Philadelphia Eagles were doing. They be doing that. They like bunch up and just push everybody. First down, first down, first and ten for Fairmont Heights. The Eagles, the Philadelphia Eagles, they be pushing people. They line up and everybody probably push, <coughs> push, like push the, Swift push did, them. Swift Swift was doing that last night. He had people <coughs> pushing him. Any, 
footballers, that's what they do it in all football. All right, there, Fairmont, Pat, not passes, but passes, <laughs> but gives the ball off to the tailback. He picks up about five yards. Number four, Will Silver, excuse me, number four, Braxton, uh, Amir, Amari Braxton. Joel, sometimes I feel a little handicapped. Why? You know? Why? Some things I can see and some things I can't see. All right, here we are. Fairmont Heights. Quarterback's on flag on the play. False start again. False start on Fairmont Heights. 48 seconds to go in the third quarter, second half. And we've got a... Ball start on Fairmont Heights. The second half has been kind of raggedy. You know, wear and tear, and then it hasn't. I thought the first half was a little better for at least for Fairmont Heights, it was. Yes, right. All right, there he goes, hand the ball up the middle. He picks up about five yards. It'll be third down. Third down and about five at least. I can hear the cheerleaders down there. You just know it's football season when you hear all, right, all the that is cheerleaders. End of the third quarter. All right, end of the third quarter, Fairmont Heights 14, Shirajville 6. We'll be right back after this short break. Holds you back. Prepare for what's next at Prince George's Community College. Train for the career of your dreams and secure your future. Earn an associate degree or a certificate, then you can start pursuing your passion today. Students and visitors are about to see Prince George's. play-by-play -play host here with Joel Deering. They're running the ball. Fairmont trying to get around the corner. Quarterback. Uh, he's mowing. Good run. Good run. He took it to the 45-yard line, Joel. That was a good play. 11.46 in the fourth quarter. We're just getting started. First down, Fairmont home. Prince George County Public Schools game of the week. Fairmont Heights versus Girardsville right here at Fairmont High School. The Hornet Bowl, they call it the Hornet Bowl here. I learned something, I was at the Community Bowl the last two weeks, now I'm at the Hornet Bowl. All right, up the middle or to the right, couple of yards there, Joel. Now, last week, uh, we're going to go to break. We'll be right back. 
career and education and support services? Join Prince George's County Public Schools. Various positions are available, including teachers, custodians, bus drivers, nurses, counselors, food service workers, substitute teachers, librarians, maintenance workers, and more. Enjoy a range of benefits, including competitive salaries, comprehensive health insurance, retirement plans, and more. Ready to take the next step? Apply now by scanning the QR code or visiting our website. Join us in shaping the future and empowering the next generation. Quarterback under center, gives a handoff to the middle. He picks up about two yards, if that. He's at the Fairmont 48-yard line. Third down. This is a beautiful day for football. Thank God it's Friday. We are out here enjoying ourselves with good times, sunshine, and plenty to do right here. The Hornet's Nest of Fairmont Heights. Fairmont got the ball. Quarterback under center. Tailback and fullback. Gives it to the tailback. Fullback. Uh, fullback, excuse me. He gets about two, maybe three. Fourth down. So many times, yeah, but so many times when they do get ready to punt or make a move. All right, all right, Fairmont getting ready to punt. What's it, what's it, what's it, a play? Flag on the play, what? Offsides. Another false start, Fairmont Heights. Now, you would be taken back, Joel, if they end up, Fairmont Heights end up losing this game. You'd be, you know, you know, you know because I mean, well, you got one. Oh, uh, here we go. High snap. High snap. Almost got blocked. Off, he got it off. All right. Uh -oh. Number three got the ball for Shirazville. Right, so trying to get around the corner. He took it to the 50-yard line. Pretty good play. Good run back. One thing about a ball game like this, when you keep a team in it, things happen. That's what I'm saying. You, you, you know what I mean. Here's the playback. As you can see, the return was pretty good. He took it to the 50-yard line. There we go. We're back live here in the Hornets Nest, Fairmont Heights in Shirazville. Shirazville is on the 49, right at the 49-yard line. Their 49-yard line. Well, put the ball in the air. It's probably something that 
They're going to look to try to exploit that. Run with the handoff to Barry Jones. All right. The play. All right. Sheratsville. Sheratsville. We'll be back right after this short break. Here's the replay before we leave. Here's the replay. Superintendent's house. Join Superintendent Millard House II for the upcoming town hall to share ideas on the future of Prince George County Public Schools. You can go to the website and check the dates and times starting September 22nd. It's all right here. Hopefully you're enjoying yourself seeing us here in the booth right here at Prince George County Public Schools Game of the Week between Fairmont Heights and Sheratsville. I'm Tavell Ralston here in the booth with Joe L. Deering. Coach D. You hear the cheerleaders down there? You know it's football season and everybody's enjoying the moment. I usually say food, fun, and football, but today I'm just saying fun and football. You were a, high, a cheerleader in high school. No, I was, yeah, I was a cheerleader, all right. I was cheering for the big daddies. Right, for the big daddies. That's me and my boys. All right, Mr. Deering. All right, we're Sherrottsville in the shotgun. Snap is up. He's running, trying to get outside. He's dropped for a sack. He's dropped at the 34-yard line. He lost about six yards, didn't he? At least that. You got it right here. Prince George County Public Schools Game of the Week. Joel, what do you see out there? Back to that play they scored. All right. And the shotgun trying to get away. Oh, no. 
Lost again, sacked again. Oh, Fairmont Hyatt is getting to the quarterback. He can't get away, Joel. He cannot get away. All right, the replay, once again, as you can see him coming around. All right, change it down. Well, they better protect the ball because any moment they could be tied up. I mean, it's just unbelievable. The, the second half is Fairmont Heights has been nothing like they were the first half, and they're giving up too many, uh, you know, plays that are just penalized, you know, yards that are penalized on the play. So hopefully, you know, they can run the ball, have some consistency in the last six minutes here. 6.03 to go in the second half, fourth quarter. Hey, uh, Zeus, now would be a good time to call for your ride. Call Uber, mom, dad, grandma. And you have to vacate the stadium at the end of the game. So please. Security, short game. Jerry Jones with a stop for Terrestrial. All right. As you can see once again, Fairmont trying to move the ball, run this clock down. 5.37 to go, fourth quarter. Charlottesville, six. Fairmont Heights, 14. Fairmont Heights on their own 47-yard line. Under center. Braxton with the carry. First Toss down. back to the tailbacks. Down the middle. He picks up about five yards. It's a first down. They move the chain. First down, Hornet. 5.17 to go. 5.17 to go. A lot of missed tackles on the last play. Vermont Heights, first down. On the Chirotsville 47 yard line. Quarterback under center. Gives it to his fullback. Up the middle, picks up about five. Four thirty-eight to go in the fourth hey, quarter. Somebody took their helmet off, so they're out the game. That's a penalty. Looks to be second and five for Fairmont Heights. All right. Lining up, up under center, Fairmont Heights. Gives it to the tailback, up the middle. Got about two yards, three at the most. Third down, two to go. For the strength of diversity through the lens of the Latino educators and staff who serve as role models, mentors, and leaders for students. Braxton All right, Perry. Braxton with first down and more. Braxton with the carry. 
Braxton with the ball, takes it to the 29, 29-yard line. First down, Fairmont High. Three oh six to go. Sherrod six. Sherrodsville six. Fairmont Heights fourteen. Under, 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 quarterback's under center. Gives it back to tailback again. He picks up maybe one. Maybe one. Goes to approximately the 25-yard line. 2.43 to go. Looks like Fairmont Heights might score again before this game is over with. They're trying to milk the clock. That's what you were saying early by running it. You know, clock is running. All right, Fairmont Heights lines up. Quarterback under center. Gives it to the fullback, straight up the middle. He was down, he was down by contact here on the ground. Didn't look like, Joel, do you think he fumbled? No. Okay. Under two minutes to go. I you go two minute. They don't have a two minute warning in high school. <laughs> no, they don't have a two minute warning in high school. <laughs> I want you to know that everybody. No stopping the clock at two minutes in high school. All right, as we keep it moving, Barrett Bond is. Time out. We'll be back after this short break. 1.30 to go in the fourth quarter. I don't need CTE. I'm going to college. Really? I'm in CTE and I'm going to college. How'd you do that? CTE gives you college credits, industry certifications, and scholarships. And right now, I'm getting paid in my internship. You get all that from CTE? Yes, for free. Who's next? Me. I have some questions about CTE. Georgia's County Public Schools is pleased to offer a wide range of specialty program opportunities for students. Our programs are unique and provide hands-on experience that aim to spark interest while preparing students for a successful future. All right, okay, there you go. All right, we're back. They're under the center. Fairmont Heights. He goes, he might got a first down on this one. Joel, this they could get a first down here. They can take a knee. Right. And they can take a knee. One and two on the season. Right. I was going to say now this will be the first win of the season for them. This will. You think this will change the season around? Yeah. There's an injured player on. The There's field. an injured player on the. All right. We'll be back right after this. Students from pre-kindergarten through 12th grade via an application or lottery process. To learn more about the application process and view a complete list of programs, please visit www.pgcps.org backslash applications. Jumpstart your future now by enrolling in Prince George's County Public Schools Career and Technical Education Programs. We're back for the last minute and 26 seconds to go. Where are my tights? Look like they're going to just run this. Run it out. Under a minute now. Under a minute. Yep. 
So one of the things that I think Fairmont could take from this ball game is that uh, they can run the ball. They didn't turn like the ball over for coming out you know, because they were fortunate to get all the Besides fumbles that they had. Yeah. And that defense stepped up. I mean, other than that one play, basically you Don't forget the that for that didn't have a whole lot they didn't do today. So, it was just so many missed cues, so many motion penalties that just they never could get they never could get any momentum to, to do anything. Uh, that's the least Rochville. And for Fairmont Heights, they played a pretty good game the first half. The second half though. Shirachville just took a timeout. Fans, you are reminded that entering and playing the field at any time is, is not permitted. Your cooperation is appreciated. We also appreciate all fans who made our school proud with good sportsmanship throughout the game. We ask that all spectators continue to display good sportsmanship even after this evening's game. Thank you, and please return home safely. All right, as you can hear the band, as the band is marching their way back to the school from the stadium here or from the football field. Fairmont Heights is going out for, it's got to be the last play of the day or at least the last two plays, 54 seconds to go in this last fourth quarter. Joel, what can you say as we end? The one good thing about Metro has no more timeouts left. Stop it is, uh, Here they go, him. under center. So took a knee. Took a knee. He's going to run the clock out. The clock never started, did it? Did the clock, 46 seconds. And one more at the most. Done deal. Cop of. Done, done. That, that takes us to the end. As we end the game, clock is winding down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. As, as this game is ended, we like to wish you and yours a very safe evening and thank you for tuning in to the Prince George County Public Schools Game of the Week on our YouTube channel. From, from me to Val Ralston and my analyst, Joel Deering, we wish you all a beautiful and safe evening, and we look forward to seeing you on our next Game of the Week telecast. As you can see, the, the students, uh, the players are walking across so that they can congratulate each other or show a sportsmanship. This is something that we definitely appreciate to see sportsmanship, that even when you lose or even when you win, you should still have sportsmanship. Everybody have a good evening as we get ready to leave. And you can see our teams, our players, our students, and everyone enjoyed this evening. Joel, you got any closing remarks? We'll see you next time right here on the Prince George County Public Schools Network as you see the uh, players. Hey, guys, uh, we got to get out of the stadium. You know, we have to vacate the stadium so the training crew can come through and see. Fairmont Heights, congratulations, everybody. Nice game. Super duper.
money at up in the NFL, man? Why y'all ain't got a PA system hooked up up in the, in the connected outside? Why we got secrets inside? A monitor. 